What is up guys, I'm back with another video, gonna hit you with some more information on Factory Inc. Hopefully it can get you going, build up your factory, level up, get some better machines and go on with it. Uh, so for my last video I showed you where I was level wise and I kind of took a break from Factory Inc. As I was telling you, it's quite difficult to level up once you get to this high point. Um, I didn't really do much of selling my factory, I know that's advantageous now, someone commented down in the video and told me about it and I was watching some other things and I definitely know to start it's a big advantage but I've already gotten so far so I really don't feel like selling my factory and starting from the beginning even if I keep the machines I know it'll just take a lot of work to do that so there's gonna be a lot of ads like this so just bear with me I'm editing this video from scratch you know I'm new to YouTube so it takes some time here alright guys I'm back that ad is annoying it's frustrating it happens every single time so back to the game we have some new additions here that I think are good to go over they've made some changes and as I was saying I'm pretty high level in this I'm almost at the last factory level 1250 so close um, here I'm with these, it looks like Washington Square Park style building, I know it's probably something else, but we have this going on, and you reach this point in the game, and I think you do it a little bit earlier, where there's really no way to get money other than using this, uh, I guess it's the hack or cheat or feature that I talked about in the last video, where you money boost, and you speed boost, and then you do a challenge. And the new caveat to that, what I found is you do those two, then you do this regular supply ch chain boost, and then there's this giant hammer that comes in that looks electrified. It gives you some extra strength on the hammer so you can get some more money from that challenge. And that's really the only way I've found to be successful in this game other than buying diamonds. I haven't bought any diamonds and I can see there's a huge benefit to it. I'm just really not about doing that. I play these games for fun. I don't make much money. I do unfortunately travel a lot, so I have to do something to occupy the time. And this is a pretty solid game. Once you get to this point, I would say it's a little frustrating and that's why I stopped for a month or two. Uh, I tried helping out people with it, but it really, it's kind of aggravating because there's not much you can do. And I realized soon after that they, during my break, that they did this new addition of the factory, and I haven't been able, or sorry, the boss's office. I haven't really been able to do much with it. It's basically just wait and click to add new furniture to these different rooms, and they give you new features like uh, bonuses on sale and then a money booster bonus. I'm sure that would be incredibly helpful if you were selling your factory at the beginning. I would definitely do that. Um, as far as play around with the boss's bonus and yet again another ad so we'll quit out of this just have so many ads in this game it's crazy guys but I just wanted to show you you know my progress in the game and some of the tips that you know I think are still valid as I said um, to do that challenge feature to, to get more money that way uh, the biggest thing here addition wise which I like they did is they added this production efficiency I was already kind of doing that on my own like using some of the data they had in, in this management section to determine which machines they use. And I think if you've been playing this for any point of time, it's really clear that you have to use the machines with the highest levels. I don't think that this drilling machine, especially this tongs machine, are by any means good, but the bonus power on them is so high in my case that I maxed all these out, so I have to use these. If you were to swap in anything else, like I have some other cool machines, like okay this one, right? It, it just drops immensely by production efficiency, so it's, it's, it's a really easy choice to just go with the machines that you've maxed out. That makes the biggest difference more than the level, um, I think. And uh, so what I would recommend then is once you get the money, upgrade some of your machines, but also try to buy these boxes the general boxes are going to do you well i did i didn't i don't think i got it on video of me opening a legendary box it wasn't as satisfying as i thought it would be because the machines that you get i think they were before some of the new additions that they did they're not really that good because you're not able to upgrade them so let me put this in perspective like 
I got some cool machines back here. This laser one, um, forget what it's called. This machine gun thing. I have some that I don't even use. This one is, I think, has the potential to be really good, <clears throat> whatever it is. And this, uh, uh, this um, swinging machine is also pretty good. Flamethrower. <clears throat> All these things are pr are pretty good and cool. And this is the, the hammer I was talking about. You can watch and add forward to to just soup that up with your money and speed bonus once you do a challenge. But these machines are all cool and everything. Oh man, another ad. All right, so we'll quit out of this. So they have so many ads. Um, sorry to bother you with that, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment. Maybe someday I'll have enough subscribers that I can use the money and put it back in the video and get the ad-free version. Um, but for now, we'll, we'll deal with those ads. But as I was saying here, I have some great looking machines aesthetically. They have the potential to be awesome. I just can't upgrade them. That's just plainly the way it is. I mean, I have these things, the electromagnetic machine that looks pretty cool. Yeah, the P12 machine gun, this airlift machine which shoots things back. Um, there's a lot of great machines aesthetically. I haven't gotten these six here, but it, the, the problem just comes down to you're not able to upgrade them. So that's a problem that I'm having with the game and I think it just loses a lot of the fun when you have to stick with the same machine. And as you can see, I've gotten to this point where I'm gonna sit at this 281 octillion forever if I don't do a challenge. I'm not gonna gain enough money to get anything. If you look here, if I wanna buy five, I need no nillion, half a no nillion or half a decillion dollars to even do that and that's well away from where I am now uh, so it's just really difficult in this game and you see that uh, these are coming out at 328.0 and I've done as much as I can with these machines and it's producing 5.40 each swing basically so it's really not that great um, when you get to this point so all I can recommend here is just kind of ignore everything and my goal in this is just to keep doing the challenges for the next few weeks or so as I said last time and I just want to make it to uh, I just want to make it to the next to the next level to the next factory 1250 so I think it's gonna take some time because what ends up happening is I found that if you upgrade the machines in the back that you don't really get any value out of these like they're never gonna do much damage to any of this stuff it actually helps you with the challenge so don't neglect those that's the only tip and trick I have is still do the challenges guys it doesn't really get much better um, I'm at this point and I hope you want to see it too just see you know the progression of this game and see how what it looks like when you finish and hopefully they do something cool I have the feeling though I have the suspicion that there's nothing really cool at the end of this game another ad will exit out of this alright guys I'm back Sorry for those ads. Hopefully you can leave a like. Like I'm putting in this effort to make these videos, keep playing these games. And just let me know what else you want to see. If you're like, oh, you know, I'm curious about this game. I have a lot of time, downtime when I travel. I'm sitting in the airport, sitting on the train, sitting on the bus, the plane, and plenty of time to review games and plenty of time to play them. So for games like this, you definitely need internet. So that would be something I couldn't do on some planes. Um, but some I could and you know just just go along with it and see how things go um, for this I would recommend just starting off as I said with those challenges just crank, cranking things out but I can show you the progress I made I think since the last video I was right here at the ship level and I made it to plane and I didn't even finish plane um, and that's the thing that I have about this game as a criticism is I wish there was something else that they gave you. Once you reach this point of almost beating it, I mean, I'm so close and I don't know if that means to, if that's like what you, where you beat it, but maybe the garage is the whole other level here where I would have to go to after I get to 1250 factory. Um, no idea. That would be kind of cool, I guess but i just wish this was they did something more they shouldn't make it so you can achieve this this amount of production and not be able to upgrade your machine i think what they have to do to, to improve this 
is enhance or, or make the value of these items worth more. Because currently I could do this tapping all day. They say, you know, just keep doing this. I could do this all day and not make any money. You know, I'm not, not going to be able to do one or even two upgrades. So as far as you know, I'm just turning things down so you don't hear doubly the playback. Okay, we're back. <laughs> yeah, that's do drive me crazy and there's no way around it unless you pay. Um, but yeah, I would really, you know, if a developer is watching this, someone watching this, maybe you guys can send this video to a developer and show them like, okay, this guy's been playing a lot. He's watching all the ads sometimes. <laughs> um, but you know, I'm playing along with the game and I want to keep going, but there's really no incentive here except for just doing this. I wait until this finishes and then I do the challenge and that's it. And so there's really low user engagement here. I, there's not much I can do except wait. Um, so let me know if you've had this problem, what level you are. And maybe if someone's higher than me, they can tell me if I'm doing something wrong. I know that selling your factory helps, but I also know I did that at the beginning and it does take some time to get back to where you were. I know it's, it's definitely not as long, but I don't want to spend another like two months trying to get back to just to where I am and then you know struggle a little bit more. Um, I feel like I can get to this next point and once I get there we'll see what it is 1250. So let me know if you have any other games you want me to review. Hopefully this video was helpful as far as an update goes. I don't have as many useful tips and tricks other than just doing the challenges as I said. Do the speed, do the boost do this boost here and with the iron hammer the lightning iron hammer and it will get you a significant amount more money and then you watch the video at the end to double the money and uh, from there hope you guys do well uh, let me know if there are any other games you want me to review and uh, hope you have a good day please let, leave a like comment subscribe whatever you got to do trying to get everyone more engaged all right thanks